Hey guys, welcome to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2018. First night, does anyone know what the day today is? August 17th, <laughs> they're all stunned. Look, it is a sold out crowd. We are going to show you what you can expect if you come to this Halloween party. And again, this is the very first day. It is Florida. It is 853 degrees outside with 300% humidity. Is it gonna be fun though? Yeah! All right, well, let's see what goes on inside. Is it? You ready? Yeah. River, you ready? Yeah. Mom scared? All of this candy, right? Yeah. How many bags of candy did they give you? Yeah. Do we have a bag that's missing? Did you already eat a bag? 
What? What? All right, well, Hunter and Daddy are bringing us some food, right? Yeah, it's gonna be chicken nuggets. Yeah. Mmm, yum. What else do we have in here? We need to get some fuel for the rest of the night. Hopefully, we make it. All right, guys, so it is almost 1230. The kids have been up since 630 this morning when they went to school, and we have officially completed our first Mickey Not-So-Scary Halloween party. What do you guys think? It was awesome. You think it was a long day? Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a long day. It was hot. We had a lot of fun. Hunter, what was the best thing of the whole night for you? Space Mountain and having fun with my family. Okay, wow, that's uh, and we did not pay him to say that. So, uh, River, what was the most fun thing for you tonight? Here's two facts about my favorite. Spending time with my family and going on rides with mom. Going on rides, what was your favorite ride of the whole night? The roller coaster. The roller coaster, so Space Mountain too. Mom, what was your favorite part of the night? Um, I really liked watching the kids have fun dancing and yeah. goofing off and yeah, it was fun. And it was it was a lot of fun. You know, the very first video that we did when we got our annual passes, we sat in the car at the end of the um the day and we talked about mistakes and things that we wish we would have done differently and one of them was to come prepared and we came prepared we had we, 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 had, the we had the map drawn yeah. out i'm gonna tell you right now who we got here at seven o'clock we didn't come in at four like you're allowed to if you wanted to we actually came in at seven because we figured it would start at seven and um we had all the all the highlighted stuff for halloween you know uh, pirates of the caribbean uh mad tea party space mountain uh yeah. we we did the dance parties um, and stuff like that. And I'm going to tell you right now, we still ran out of time. We still ran out of time, yeah. So something to think about is to prioritize. Now, they're going to say that there's special things for Mad Tea Party. and it's, Hall it's not Halloween. Yeah, there's some orange lights and stuff like that. But... I'm gonna roll in some footage here in just a little bit uh, and show you what the wait times were for things like Seven Dwarfs, which is probably the most popular ride here in Disney. We've never been on it because the wait is always oh, you know, an hour but and it's a half. Probably shorter during something. Yeah, like it was this. it was 20 minutes, and we should have went and we done should've. it, but instead we went to Space Mountain. Now Space Mountain was a lot of fun. Space it's Mountain's always fun, but you know, think about those things as you're coming out here, especially if you're not an annual pass holder. Um, Think about think about this the really really cool stuff. There were a lot of character pictures, and there were people lined up for character pictures. Yeah. We decided not to do any oh, character if we pictures. Did, we had even we less time. Yeah, so we we ran out. Of, uh, we would have ran out of time, but we ran out of time anyway. Uh, we were in the wrong position for the fireworks, um, and that was really my fault. And, and then we realized let's just go get something to eat instead. We couldn't even get in position for the hocus pocus villain no. um, thing, so we just said forget that. Uh, and the Boo to You Parade. What did you guys think about that? That was super um, cool. It was cool. And if you'll notice at the end of the video, as we're leaving, we got right behind the last float, which said the end on it. And we followed that thing all the way out until we got to the exit or to the cool. and we blew out of there um, another tip and I don't know if I'm gonna put it in the video or not but I'm gonna remind you when you're getting on that monorail do not get on the express monorail everyone and their brother heads towards the express monorail and hardly nobody heads over to the resort monorail the resort monorail is going to stop at the contemporary hotel it's gonna let people off and about three minutes later it's gonna head to the same parking lot matter of fact when you're going in on the express monorail or coming yeah. back it still slows down it doesn't stop but take 
take that, everyone's going into the express thing, it's gonna be faster, and you gotta wait two or three monorails just to get out of there. Go to the resort one, it's gonna get you there faster. Um, but Michelle, what advice do you have for people for their first time, and we're by far not experts at all. What do you think some good advice is for people coming to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party? Um, I would say look, print out a map and, and kind of decide what route you're gonna take, kind of like what we did. You're not really gonna get everything that you want because that's just, the, I think, the way it is. Yeah. Especially when you have kids because they do get tired and you have to stop for drinks and you have to stop for food and almost meltdowns, you know? Almost, well, there's some <laughs> meltdowns. You know, the yeah. other the other thing is, and this will show you how ignorant I am, I'm just gonna be very honest with you guys, is I was pretty shocked. I didn't think that I would have to pay as much, or I didn't think at first I had to pay as an annual pass holder because we had the gold pass um, that we would have to pay. So you are paying, I, I wanna believe, and I'll put the prices in below, but if you're annual pass holder, you save like five bucks or 10 bucks, and it was $304 for the four of us. Um, and like I said, you can get Get here as early as four o'clock, and the park closes at midnight, I believe, or twelve fifteen, or something like yeah. that. Uh, but it is—you're definitely going to spend money coming here. So make sure that you're doing things that you want to do. We got to see—we uh, got to see many, or at least I did, Minnie and Mickey, and they were their Halloween costumes. That was really cool. Was cool. Um, of course, we didn't stop to get pictures because that would have no. taken yeah. 30, 40 minutes. So just think about the fact that there's not uh, a lot of people in the park. It was sold out tonight, so if you come on Halloween night, it's gonna be sold out to the same crowd that we have right now. So just, you know, really think about what, what rides you really want to do. Kids really like the dance party. I mean, that was a lot of fun. I think it was really cool. But um, other than that, I would say this is a really fun event. Uh, I'm gonna surprise the kids and take them to Halloween Horror Nights next. <laughs> no! Okay. Um, no. Not yet, we're not gonna torture the kids but we will be going to Halloween Horror Night. In we years will, to come. And they in will be coming, but come. we are going this year, and we look forward to doing that. But I would say Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party was definitely a thumbs up for me. What thumbs about the rest up. of you guys? It was a good time. Uh, the kids are ready to pass out. I think so much, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Peace out, bum, ba da bum, bum, pat.